Look at that beautiful fish on a Ned Rig. The Z-Man TRD does it again. Look at that. Well, that's awesome. So we're up here, folks, out on Lake Winnebago. I was out yesterday with my buddy Ron because he had a he's got a tournament coming up and he wanted to practice. So I was out yesterday on the other side of the lake, but now I'm uh, I'm uh, completely opposite side of the lake. I wanted to come out here. Look at that. That's beautiful fish. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous fish. Let's let this fish go and uh, go catch another. So first I have to apologize and let you guys know that some of the audio in this video might have some wind in the background because there was really strong winds on this day that I won, went out fishing. But I tried to fish the calm side of the lake. But as you can see by the water quality that the conditions were not good. It was pretty much chocolate milk. I mean it's been raining a lot like almost every day every other day the water level is really high and it's super muddy so the visibility is bad so I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna search for cleaner water so I get to the first spot and I make my very second cast and I catch a small walleye right away and then the very next cast hooked up smally and the bite was on and how should I say it? It was a hot, non-stop action bite. I mean, they were stacked up, and every time I found one smallmouth, there was anywhere from 20 to 30 smallmouth nice on one. each spot. Oh, here, Wally? Oh, another smallmouth. Another nice smallie. So I've only been here not even a minute. I've already gotten two smallmouth and a walleye. That's pretty good. Hooked up. Hooked up again. Hooked up. Yep. Come on. This one's biting pretty good. Another nice small mall. Beautiful fish. Oh, jeez. Broke my line. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have did that. God dang it. Ah. Oh, well. Bring up another one. <sighs> and if you look at, I'm trying to break the myth. I got a banana in my boat. They said it's bad luck. Well, I mean, I lost a fish, but I am catching them. My line that feels pretty brave here, so I'm gonna actually cut my line and put on a new line. So it's the fall time of year right now. Temperature's like 58, and. All the smallmouth right now are shallow, like really shallow. I'm talking, you can see how close I am to the shore right here. I've literally made about five casts and already had three fish. And there's fish jumping too. I keep hearing them jump. This water is really muddy though, but I'm right on the edge of the mud line. It's coming out of this channel. And that's where they're sitting. You can see it right here. It's, you can see the difference in the water quality. And I'm just sitting right on the edge of this. There's one. Oh, missed him. So I'm going to turn on my rod sensor. So I hold it down, it says welcome. Then I go over here to my, my app, and it finds my rod, or my sensor. So I click on it, click save. You selected smart rod sensor, and I click on start fishing. And then it basically finds my location, and I start casting. So you can see right now it's marked with a blue dot. As soon as I make a cast, 
it will basically turn yellow and register that as a cast. So all I'm using for for a bait today is just a green pumpkin, uh, Z-Man, TRD with a 1 10th ounce uh, power finesse shroom jig head. I'm using 12 pound braid with a 10 pound floral carbon leader on a, a seven foot medium rod. Uh, this way it helps me to cast pretty good distance. Even though I don't need to in this stained water, I can actually fish pretty close if I really wanted to. Unbelievable. Smallmouth after smallmouth. And I have it all to myself. Spinnerbait. That's the finesse. War Eagle spinnerbait. Look at that smallmouth. Oh, that's this beautiful fish. Isn't that awesome? Look at that thing. Engulfs that spinnerbait, man. So, I decided to try something else and throw the uh, spinnerbait at it. It's a War Eagle spinnerbait. And sure enough, that nice smallmouth right there went for that one. I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful fish. Awesome. Let's get her back. Try that again. that I have this all to myself today. Wow. Put another nice one. Damn. Oh. Whew. Another nice one. Come on. All right. I'm gonna net it. I don't want to lose my spinner bait. Here he comes. Here she comes. Nope. Oh. Right. Get her in there. Oh man, look at that, another pig, unbelievable, I'm catching these fish, cast after cast, let's see how big this fish is, just curious, so this one right here is, if you look, no one's touching, 17 and a half, every fish I've been catching has been about this size, every one. That's just awesome. Awesome, awesome. Look at that. Another big, beautiful smallmouth. War Eagle Spinnerbait does it again. Let's see how big this one is. So this one is, oh, is 17 and a half. 
I didn't think it was going to be the same size. It's another nice one. So you're probably wondering what this whole banana thing is about. Why is it bad luck to bring a banana on your boat? There's superstitions that actually date back to like the 1700s of these old wooden sailing boats that had to move very fast because they were delivering bananas and they didn't want the bananas to spoil. And the fishermen had a hard time trolling because of how fast the boats were moving so they would never catch anything. So that's one of the superstitions. The other one uh, from the same time is that a banana will cause a boat to sink. And this is uh, this belief developed after many boats. They never made it to their destinations and all of the doomed boats were actually carrying bananas. But today I want to break that myth and show you that you can have bananas in your boat and they're not going to bring you bad luck because even some of the fishing charter businesses today uh, don't allow bananas in their boat even things like banana chips banana muffins uh, anything banana flavored and even anything with the word banana like fruit of the loom underwear or banana republic apparel or banana boat sunscreen so you know so there's no clear reason on how the superstition actually came to be but i wanted to put it to the test and as you'll see in this video the fishing was amazing it was probably one of the best fishing days that i've had all season So you're going to see several times in this video that I catch a fish, let it go, make another cast, catch a fish, let it go, make another cast, catch a fish, let it go. This happened time and time again throughout this afternoon when I was fishing and it was just non-stop action every single cast and it was, it was just awesome and the cool thing was I had the lake all to myself nobody was on the lake I couldn't see anybody anywhere there was no boats in a boat launch I was the only one there because I think it was because they were calling for rain and just cold temperatures Show a little bit more. Mom, addiction, eat your heart out. <laughs> so fun. Oh. So much fun. Boat right there, catching these nice smallmouth bass out on the lake, all to yourself. So cool, love it. Keep back over there. Another one right here. 
Fish. Look at that one right there. Gorgeous fish. This is amazing how you can come out here and just catch these all to yourself. This is so awesome. All in that little Ned rig right there, the Z-Man TRD. Another beautiful smallmouth bass on the Ned Rig again and the TRD. Smallmouth, gosh, unbelievable that you can have a day like this and catch all these fish, but nobody else is out here. Unreal, unreal. You guys got to get out this time of year. I'm telling you, you got to come out this October. I think it's like it's the second week in October already. So they're coming out and catch some beautiful fish, man. They say bananas in a boat is a bad thing. 
I don't know about that. Right there, it's a banana bass. <laughs> I've been catching them and I'm using my cyber <coughs> cyber uh, cyber fishing so now I hit it, hit it two times and it stores that fish so now I can uh, record where I just caught that fish and go ahead and make another cast so it's nice that you can keep track for you like that super easy so let me make another cast Hooked up! Again. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is crazy. I have this spot. There's nobody out here. Look at nobody. Whole lake. All to myself. Wow. It's just a little one. Still fun to catch. Edwin Ebers on the Red Crest Championships is like every cast. Every cast. The Winnebago smallmouth is what it's about right here. Not a big one there. That one's a little smaller. But you did see I've been catching some nice ones, but it's like every cast. Alright, get back over there. Oh, there's one right there. My lure hit the water. I don't know if you guys can make it out as far as the mudline, but there's a mudline right here. Oh, right, right down. I'm actually in the mudline right now with the boat. If I move the boat five feet, I'll be completely out of it. quality. Nobody out here. Look at nobody. Whole lake, all to myself. Wow. Nope. It's just a little one. Still fun to catch. Oh, 
long one. Let's wait. Check that. It's a long one. Nope. Another one right here? There's busting right here. There's one. Oh, dope. So I have one more spot that I want to try because it's just about to get dark out and as I'm driving to the next spot, the unexpected happens. All of a sudden, my motor completely dead. Just kills on me. I try to fire it up again, it dies again. I tried it several, several times, exact same thing. I've never had an issue with it before, it's always ran great. And now I'm starting to think, okay, is this because of me bringing this banana on board? I mean, I, I did catch a lot of fish, but now I'm having mechanical issues. So, was that the reason? <laughs> Do you believe in the whole banana superstition now? I don't know, it's hard to say. Will I bring a banana on board again? Possibly. <laughs> so I just decided to call her a night and get back to the shore before things get any worse. So as you guys saw earlier, what did I bring on board that's supposed to bring bad luck? Bananas. Right? You're never supposed to bring a banana on board on your boat ever because it'll bring bad luck. But I caught a ton of fish, so I don't think it's bad luck as far as helping you to catch fish and not catch fish I think it's bad luck in another way because my motor stopped working on the way to check out another spot I had one more spot I wanted to check out and it just died I, it won't stay running it keeps killing on me killing on me killing on me I have no idea what's going on so I'm heading up here with the trolling motor and uh, hopefully somebody will be there and they'll be, give, be able to give me a ride back to the other boat launch so I can bring my truck back here and get it all the water so I guess we'll just see what happens man so maybe maybe bringing a banana on board is bad luck oh and look what I see right here I'm gonna rescue this there is a monarch butterfly in the water flapping her wings I'm gonna help her out right here check her out there we go look at that there we go Oh, she doesn't have, she's missing part of her wings. Aww. Uh, kind of like that butterfly, you know. Without well, you know, your wings, you can't fly. Without that engine, I can't go nowhere. So, I'm almost to the boat launch. Uh, it was such a fun time though, man. I did catch a lot of fish every single cast. That was amazing. So hopefully I can get out of here before the storm comes because it's supposed to be raining out. You can see if you look. I just wanted to give you a report of what happened. So, sorry it's a little dark out, but I uh, managed to get to shore and uh, used the trolling motor 
took a while, got there, and then I uh, went and knocked on some doors. This little old lady answered. It was kind of funny. And uh, she said she couldn't drive after dark, and her husband just got out of the hospital. So I went and I knocked on another door, and I found this uh, lady there. She goes, well, I would give you a ride back to your vehicle. You know, but uh, she had a couple glasses of wine. But then her uh, daughter was nice enough to give me a ride back so I could pull the get my truck and pull it back to the boat where I had it parked and uh, so thank you uh, if you ever see this video but uh, that was so nice of them to do that so and uh, yes yeah, so I made it off the lake before the rain and everything thank God so but now I don't know about that whole banana thing you know they say having a banana in your boat was never supposed to be uh, supposed to be bad luck so maybe it's true so but anyways so I'm gonna head home